Hey guys, Tucker here from 4th Meal Tech, and today we're going to be rounding up the latest from Apple's iPhone 6 event. So at the event, Apple released two new iPhones, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, as well as the Apple Watch. So the iPhone 6 features a new 4.7 inch 1334 by 750 display, whereas the iPhone 6 Plus features a 5.5 inch 1920 by 1080p display. The iPhone 6 comes at a very slim measurement of 6.9 millimeters, whereas the iPhone 6 Plus comes in at 7.1 millimeters, making the iPhone 6 the thinnest iPhone that Apple has ever made. Both of the new iPhones feature Apple's latest A8 processor, along with the Motion Co processor, the M8 processor from Apple. Both the new iPhones feature a new 8 megapixel iSight camera with f2.2 aperture. They both record video at 1080p at 60 frames per second, however the slow-mo video has been bumped up from 128 frames per second to 240, so you can get those nice slow-mo shots. The difference between the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus is camera is that the iPhone 6 Plus has optical image stabilization on the camera, so it'll reduce some of the shakiness from your hand when you're taking a shot with the iPhone 6 Plus camera. Now as for the models and availability, the iPhone 6 will come in gold, silver, and space gray for $199 on a two-year contract for 16 gigs, $299 for 64 gigs, and $399 for 128 gigabytes of storage. And as for the iPhone 6 Plus, it comes in at $299 for the 16 gig, $399 for the 64 gig, and $499 for the 128 gig version of the iPhone 6 Plus. Now, at the event, Apple also released their Apple Watch, which is their version of a smartwatch, which will not be released until early of 2015. However, it has a different design than other watches we've seen with higher quality materials, like they have a high quality edition, a sport edition, and then the standard edition. The high quality edition features 18 karat gold on the build, so it's very high quality for high class if you want a watch that looks very nice. The sport edition uses some cheaper materials, but it's more durable and is nice for people who like running, swimming, climbing, whatever activities you may do. I'm personally a little bit disappointed with the iWatch because I thought Apple was going to do something cool with a round display. However, it is what it is and we'll see how it is once it comes out. Overall, Apple's latest event seemed to be very good, packing some new good phones and technology all together. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below as well as click that subscribe button for future technology content. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for, to get all of my technology updates. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Peace.